Hello, and welcome to this virtual tour of one of Ottawa's most stunning natural landmarks. Owned by Portage Power, which is a subsidiary of Hydro Ottawa, Chaudière Falls is a true community asset. From being Canada's oldest operating hydro station to becoming this new state-of-the-art underground facility, the six hydroelectric generating facilities on site generate clean energy to power homes and businesses in our national capital region. This video is an exploration of Chaudière Falls' history, facilities and processes, all of which can be enjoyed from the safety and comfort of your own home. Sit back, relax and let's get started. Did you know that Chaudière Falls has great significance to First Nations in Canada? Located on traditional territory of the Algonquin Nation, the river was used by the Anishinaabeg peoples as a transportation route, but also to perform tobacco ceremonies on site. Referred to as Astiku or the Boiler by the Anishinaabeg, the falls' name was translated to Chaudière by early French explorers in recognition of their cauldron-like shape, which is easily seen from Generation Station Number 5. Speaking of Generation Station Number 5, did you know that it sits on the site of a former Domtar paper mill and required the removal of 80,000 cubic meters of rock during the excavation of its intake and tail race canals? That's 8,000 dump truck loads of rock! As a run-of-the-river hydroelectric facility, the station, which is located on Chaudière Island on the Ottawa River, leverages the river's natural flow and drop in elevation to generate clean power that reduces carbon dioxide emissions by about 115,000 tons each year. Inside the generation station, you will find four identical turbines. Each turbine contains a generator, rotor, and wicket gates, and features a distributor ring, which is the part of the turbine that you can see. Every second, the equivalent of 85 bathtubs of water flows through each draft tube generating enough clean energy to power more than 20,000 homes, possibly yours. With so much history on site, we often look at preserving certain heritage elements of our stations when refurbishing. That was the case for Generation Station Number 2. Although the station has been completely refurbished to feature state-of-the-art systems and computerized sensors, there are elements of the past still being utilized today. The station's original dials, meters and switches, for example, are still in the building, leaving the equipment looking exactly the way it did 100 years ago. One interesting component of the Chaudière Falls facility is the Ring Dam, which went into service in 1910. Monitored 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, Operators of the ring dam hoist logs in and out of the river to regulate the water level and flow that come from the next dam upstream. Another interesting component of the Chaudière Falls facility is our eel viewing room. Here, you can catch a glimpse of American eels, which are native to the Ottawa region and considered an endangered species. When the eels are spawned in the Sargasso Sea between the coast of Bermuda and the United States, they migrate thousands of miles upstream to the fresh water in the Ottawa River and the Great Lakes. Once they arrive at Chaudière Falls, the eels use a specially designed ladder to help them bypass the generation station. After about 20 years of living upstream, they then begin their downstream journey back to the Sargasso Sea to spawn using two bypass channels, which begin at the top and bottom of the intake channel and end at the tail race. These innovations are just some of the many ways we uphold environmental sustainability while protecting American eels and other aquatic species. Now let's take a look at the pathway between the intake channel and some of Chaudière Falls' historical buildings. As you can see, there is quite a difference in water levels between the intake canal and what can be seen down in the tail race. This drop in elevation is essential for generating hydroelectricity, while our trash rack is essential for filtering out garbage and debris from entering the plant and damaging equipment. From this same spot, you can see our station number four, located on Victoria Island. This powerhouse was used to power the lumber mills and later the paper mills that were located here. Although this beautiful space has been closed to the public for more than a century, they maintain their historical significance in contributing to the prosperity and growth of Ottawa. 
On the note of beautiful space, let's take a moment to explore the park at Chaudière Falls. When construction of the new generation station was completed in 2017, after 24 months of effort, it was built entirely below ground with the intent to open up the space to the public and avoid blocking the natural beauty of the area. Working together with the Algonquins of Ontario, we designed the space to reflect First Nations culture by including trees and plant species that have traditional uses. Since its inception, the park has grown to become a beloved space for many to intake the scenery and rich history of one of Ottawa's most iconic natural landmarks. We thank you for joining this virtual tour of our Chaudière Falls site. To learn more about how we are generating clean, green energy while acknowledging our storied past, visit www.chaudierefalls.com or follow us on Twitter and Instagram with username at Chaudière Falls. Mm -hmm.